The Sargasso Sea is a region in the gyre in the middle of the North Atlantic Ocean. It is bounded on the west by the Gulf Stream. On the north, by the North Atlantic Current. On the east, by the Canary Current. And on the south, by the North Atlantic Equatorial Current. This system of ocean currents forms the North Atlantic Gyre. All the currents deposit the marine plants and refuse they carry into this sea. The Sargasso Sea is 1,100 km wide and 3,200 km long. It stretches from roughly 70 degrees west to 40 degrees west, and from 20 degrees north to 35 degrees north. Bermuda is near the western fringes of the sea. The ocean water in the Sargasso Sea is distinctive for its deep blue color and exceptional clarity, with underwater visibility of up to 200 feet. History The naming of the Sargasso Sea after the Sargassum seaweed traces back to the early 15th century Portuguese explorations of the Azores Islands and of the large Volta do Mar, around and west of Archipelago, where the seaweed was often present. The Sargasso Sea was first fully crossed by the expedition of Christopher Columbus in 1492, who was amazed by the masses of seaweed he encountered. However, the sea may have been known to earlier mariners, as a poem by the late 4th century author, Rufus Festus Aviens, describes a portion of the Atlantic as being covered with seaweed, citing a now lost account by the 5th century BC Carthaginian explorer Hamilco the Navigator. Ecology the Sargasso Sea is home to seaweed of the genus Sargassum, which floats en masse on the surface there. The Sargassum is not a threat to shipping, and historic incidents of sailing ships being trapped there are due to the often calm winds of the horse latitudes. The Sargasso Sea also plays a major role in the migration of the European eel and the American eel. The larvae of both species hatch there and go to Europe or the east coast of North America. Later in life, they try to return to the Sargasso Sea to lay eggs. It is also believed that after hatching, young loggerhead sea turtles use currents, such as the Gulf Stream to travel to the Sargasso Sea, where they use the Sargassum as cover from predation until they are mature. The Sargasso Sea was the subject of a recent mutagenomics effort called the Global Ocean Sampling Survey by J. Craig Venter and others, to evaluate the diversity of microbial life there. The results have indicated that. Contrary to previous theories, the area has a wide variety of prokaryotic life. Owing to surface currents, the Sargasso accumulates a high concentration of non-biodegradable plastic waste. The huge North Atlantic garbage patch in the area is similar to another ocean phenomenon, the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. Several nations and non-governmental organizations have joined together to protect the Sargasso Sea. These organizations include the Sargasso Sea Commission established on March 11, 2014 by the governments of the Azores, Bermuda, Monaco, United Kingdom and the United States. Depictions in popular culture, the Sargasso Sea is often portrayed in literature and the media as an area of mystery. Stories set within the sea, in 1846 Edward Forbes hypothesized a post-Miocene land mass extending westward from Europe into the Atlantic. If this land existed it did not extend to America, where then was the edge or coastline of it, Atlantic wards. Look at the form and constancy of the Great Fucus Bank and consider that it is a Sargassum Bank. The Sargasso Sea features in classic fantasy stories by William Hope Hodgson, such as his novel The Boats of the Glen Carrig, Victor Appleton's Don Sturdy novel, Don Sturdy in the Port of Lost Ships, or, Adrift in the Sargasso Sea, and several related short stories. Jules Verne's 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea describes the Sargasso Sea and gives an account of its formation. Jean Rhys' novel Wide Sargasso Sea refers to, but is not set in the sea, being concerned with colonial-era Jamaica. In episode 28 of The Little Mermaid, the Sargasso Sea is featured as the primary location of a great battle involving the Mafoke and the Octopans. Ezra Pound's poem, Portrait d'un Femme, begins, your mind and you are our Sargasso Sea. Other stories include, the 1923 silent film The Isle of Lost Ships, an atmospheric adventure from director Maurice Tourneur, takes place in the Sargasso Sea. The film was based on Cretendon Marriott's 1909 novel The Isle of Dead Ships. The Isle of Lost Ships is now a lost film.
It was refilmed at the dawn of sound in 1929 by director Irvin Willett. Fred Andrews' mystery novel Plato's Pond features the fictitious land of Gaia, which is a continent in the middle of the Sargassum Sea. In several fictional depictions, the Sargasso Sea is detailed as a mythical floating ship graveyard in which ships get caught in the seaweeds and never get free again, turning the vessels into ghost ships. Versions of such are shown in the first episode of Johnny Quest, and a subsequent parody in The Venture Brothers, the German role-playing game book Shift Era Currency Cell, by Er Anton, the advanced Dungeons & Dragons Ravenloft supplement Islands of Terror, the book Sargasso of Space written by Andre Norton concerned an alien planet upon which uncounted spaces ships were drawn into crash on the planet. The book references the Sargasso Sea. In the first book of the Cryptid Conspiracies series, the Sargasso Sea was the area where European eels enter the sea and metamorphosed into the species of the Loch Ness Monster. Similarly, in Steve Alton's 2005 novel, The Loch, the Loch Ness Monster was said to be a massive species of Anguilla Anguilla that spawned in the Sargasso Sea and then migrated to Loch Ness. The monster, Nessie, was then a member of this species trapped in the lake. The 1933 Doc Savage pulp magazine story The Sargasso Ogre, in the advanced Dungeons & Dragons setting Spelljammer, Sargassos are dead zones, where the magic needed to propel ships through space doesn't work, potentially trapping the ship's crews there until death. In music, the 1977 album Sun Shower by Teko Onuki contained a track entitled Sargasso. The 1982 album A Blind Sign by Shock Corridor B1 track was titled Sargasso C. The 1990 album Michael Lee Firkins by Michael Lee Firkins' final track was titled The Sargasso C. The 1994 album ST3 by Salt Tank contained a track entitled Sargasso C. The instrumental jam band Lotus released a double live album in May, 2007, titled Escaping Sargasso Sea. It was nominated for a Jammy Award by Guitar Player magazine for Best Live Album of 2007. The album was described by Relix magazine as sexy and sophisticated dance music, mature enough to be played in the club or the living room. In 2009, Progressive metal band Scale The Summit released an album called Carving Desert Canyons. The second track is titled Sargasso Sea. The 2011 album In Your Dreams by Stevie Nicks contained a track entitled Wide Sargasso Sea. Sargasso by Big Flame is included on their second EP Rigor. In the 2007 music video for Dashboard by Modest Mouse contains a map that references the Sargasso Sea. 1976 guitar duet album Sargasso Sea by Ralph Towner and John Abercrombie includes track 3, also titled Sargasso Sea. ECM Records produced by Manfred Acher. The 2005 album Silver Ship by musician Suzanne Siani contains a track titled Sargasso Sea. References External links, Sargasso Sea Alliance, Skeptoid No. 132 the Sargasso Sea and the Pacific Refuse Patch at Skeptoid, What's the Story on the Sargasso Sea? Photos of Organisms Living in the Sargasso Sea